Hello, beautiful family. And Stephen, Stephen times two, Gledhill. He's having a lot of problems with his device. And I just need you to pray, please, for the for the Wi-Fi, for our phones, because we're under attack, cyber attack. The prince of the power of the air, the airwaves, is trying to attack us. The Lord rebuke him and remove him off us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Here we go, guys. God bless you, Bradford. We have come here to tell you that time is short and that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And we've come here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You must be saved because the Bible is the Holy Word of God. It tells us very plainly, very clearly that we have all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says that the wages or the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, the Bible says all can be saved. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. And there's only one requirement for you to be saved. And that is that you believe in your heart what the Son of God, Jesus Christ, did for us on that cross. How Jesus was crucified to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins as it is written. And he was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day according to the scriptures. Just believe this in your heart. And call upon Jesus. Say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. In a twinkling of the eye, you'll be saved, sealed, sanctified, justified by the great God of the whole earth. And you will know that you're saved. You will recognize that's the best thing you ever did was to lay hold of your salvation, your eternal life. Because now you will have a place in heaven and you will escape what is about to happen on this world. Please open your eyes and look around this world at what is happening. It's plain to see that we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The church is not those buildings you see all around the church is the body of Christ the church is each believer in Jesus Christ we are the temple of the living God as it is written those church buildings are just places of worship but we are the church who worship the Lord Jesus in spirit and in truth we are the church who have been born again because we believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So please hurry up. Don't hesitate any longer because I'm here to tell you that this whole new world, all this world order that you see now is about to change. There's going to be a new world order. It's all set to go and it's about to happen. As soon as the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, the trumpet of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. So please believe on Jesus and you will be taken to heaven in the rapture, out of harm's way. And then sudden destruction shall come upon this world, just like it is written in the holy word of God. 
He says, then sudden destruction shall come upon them and they shall not escape. So don't be one of those who are going to be suddenly destroyed. Instead, be one of the ones who will be taken up to heaven in the rapture when the Lord Jesus comes. He's not going to touch down on the earth. He's going to descend from the highest heaven with the trumpet of God. He's going to gather up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in the rapture. And then, according to the prophet Isaiah, this world is going to be turned upside down during what the, Jesus described as the Great Tribulation, the Apocalypse Period. Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week, as the Bible calls it. Seven years when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this unbelieving and unrepenting world which has turned its back on the living God. So please return unto the Lord your God. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return, return unto the Lord and unto our God because he will abundantly pardon, forgive, and accept you just as you are if you will but believe the gospel that Jesus died on the cross for all our sin. Believe it. Know it's true that he did that for you. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. Believe this in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved with everlasting life. You will be sealed with God's Spirit, Holy Spirit of God. And you will be taken up to heaven when the Lord himself descends and gathers all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind because I'm here to tell you that what you see now, all these shops and everything, this is all going to be changed when suddenly there will be a great vanishing of many people when the, when the Lord Jesus raptures all believers up into heaven. Suddenly there will be a, a great disappearance of all those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, then absolute chaos will ensue. Chaos and third world war will break forth just like the Bible says during the apocalypse period seven years and this man shall come on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the savior of the world he will say i am the christ but he is the false antichrist and he's going to cause everybody to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead the mark of the beast 666 Nobody will be able to enter into any of these shops and buy anything. You won't be able to buy, you won't be able to sell, unless you have the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. God bless you, brother. Go. 777, yeah, amen. So this is what is coming upon the world. It's all ready. It's all ready to go. As soon as the rapture takes place, when Jesus takes up into heaven all those who belong to him, all those who have believed on him, then the apocalypse will begin. And this Antichrist is going to cause absolute destruction. You don't want to be left behind for what's coming upon this world, people. I'm telling you now, believe now, believe now, and save yourself a whole lot of trouble. I'm telling you, all you have to do, the only requirement for you to be saved and taken up to safety when Jesus comes and takes all believers up into heaven, is one thing, one requirement, and that is believe. Believe in your heart how Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. Just believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus and you'll be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about religion. It's not about going to church. It's about your heart. Do you believe the truth? Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. That means without the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't make it to heaven. And instead you find yourself in hell. And God doesn't want this. Just like his word says, he wants all to be saved. He wants none to perish. 
please believe on the Lord Jesus Christ while you still can. Because this world is about to be turned upside down. God bless you, Bradford. We have come here to tell you God loves you. God wants to save you. Just like his word says, all can be saved. God wants all to be saved. And all you have to do is believe that yes, Jesus was indeed sacrificed on that cross for all our sins as it is written and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if any man says that he has no sin he deceives himself and the truth is not in him but if we are willing to humble ourselves and say yes of course I have sinned come on guys just be honest Say, yes, of course, I have sinned. We've all lied. We've all, most of us have stolen. And we've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says the wages of this is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, according to his word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, up there. God bless you, man. All right, brother. How are you? All right? Yeah, man. Do you know that? Yeah. You see people, yeah? Mm. Walk around the streets every day, yeah? And thinking yes. and this and doing this and doing that, yeah? Yeah. But you know, they won't fucking sit down on the floor, yeah? Mm -hmm. And say a fucking fair to God. Humble the soul. Oh, yeah, you're right there, brother. Yeah. You're right there. That's, That's right. You... Do you know what the law says? If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, See my face, I shall hear from heaven. And he does, he's done his yeah, thing. See Chronicles 7 14. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I shall hear that. He's from heaven. You see it every day, man. Yeah. What's your name, brother? What's your name? My name is Stephen. Like oh, your brother no Stephen. Way, yes, yeah, we've got Stephen. three Stephens yes. here again. You know Can we pray for you, Stephen? It's mad, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> Stephen. Crown. Crown. You know why Let I no miss, man yeah? take thy crown. In all my life, I've got to stop yeah? this now before it's 13 minutes. God bless you. I've got Steve with me now. He's been working. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He's doing oh, very well. This is son's come out. I put my heated socks on. Thank you, Jan. I turned them on and my feet are fine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got a bit of bad throat. God bless.